Hello everyone and welcome back to another scintillating fix this house Venetian blind video. I'm hanging a Venetian blind here on this bathroom window and it's about the right size but the top bar is a little too big because when these replacement windows were installed, I won't mention who installed them, I had to put in these uh, cord around pieces on the side. So I want to hang the Venetian blind back up in here, but it doesn't go back far enough for me to fasten it. So I think the, the slats themselves are an okay width, but the bar itself is too wide. So I'm going to show you my plan to take an inch off each end of just the top bar so I can fit this in there properly and still have the full width of my slats and bottom bar. So I've marked an inch on each side. Now I'm gonna go down and cut the uh, an inch off of each end. All right, I am going to use an angle grinder with a cutting wheel to easily cut through this plastic and take off one inch at either end. I've wedged a little something just to keep a, I need a little bit of space between the slats and the bracket. Now hold this end with a pair of pliers and here we go. It really is easy, but I, I'm having trouble because I don't want to cut what I shouldn't cut. And so maybe I just flip it over here. Just clean off some of these burrs and then it's got, it comes with end caps so we'll just put plug back in there. I'm going to flip it around and do the other side. All right, so let's go ahead and put our caps on. They fit perfectly. And no one will ever know we did anything. Now here's a little template they use for uh, where you're going to uh, install your brackets. It's a hel helpful place against the corner of the window. But since we have cut off an inch of our our top bar, I'm going to cut an inch off of the end of this. And so what that's going to mean is they're helping us make sure we put our brackets in the right place. So it will be between the mechanism. Our bracket will be right there. And on this side, our bracket will be right here. So, so they, they just want to preclude the possibility of your brackets interfering with the mechanism. So let's go up there and make our pencil mark. Oh, let's see here. Those two there. And those two there. Now, if you've got a drill bit, a small drill bit, might be good to drill pilot holes, but I don't have a drill bit with me here. So I'm gonna just sort of like put the screws in first without the bracket, and then I'll come back and add the bracket. Cause I just wanna make sure they're gonna go in okay. Well, that's not bad. <laughs> just making my pilot holes this way since I don't have a drill bit with me. Okay, so now let's put our brackets up in place. 
they have an adhesive thing that you can use to hold it up there for you. Works pretty good. That's just to hold it in place while you insert the drill, while you uh, put the screws in. That's perfect. Holds it in place for us. Good. Okay, so let's see about putting this up in place. So I think what we do is hang these on the hook at the top and then just press them back into place. That's it, just like that. And these are cordless, so you just pull it to, to bring it down if I brought the bar out. There you go. So I was happy with the width of the slats. It was only the top that I needed to make a little bit more narrow. So that looks pretty good. You know, if you do need to shorten your slats, you can do so very easily with a pair of scissors. And I've done that at times in the past. So there's our new blind and we just had to get a little bit creative to accommodate this particular window setup. And I hope that video helps you install your Venetian blinds. Thank you for watching.